Hi, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and in this video series, we're answering your questions about hypothyroidism. And today's question comes from a woman in Poland, and in her email, she states that she's 42 years old. She's recently been diagnosed uh, about a year ago with hypothyroidism. Uh, I've struggled my, my whole life with weight. I've always been about 15 to 20 pounds overweight. I exercise, I work out every day, my diet's pretty clean, I don't drink any alcohol, I don't eat any sweets and I've eliminated my gluten. Why is this happening despite all of these, these changes? And so one of the most frustrating symptoms of hypothyroidism, without doubt, is the inability to lose weight, okay? So even when your calories are low and hours logged on that treadmill and stair stepper are high, um, why does this happen, okay? Well, here's what we know. Patients with underactive thyroid tend to have a very low basal metabolic rate, or what we call a BMR. And because this BMR uh, basically is set by the thyroid, uh, it's also going to control how well your body burns fat and burns calories. Now, the problem is, is that BMRs are not really the whole story as it relates to weight gain and, and even as it relates to the thyroid. And so for many women, uh, there are other problems that, uh, other metabolic imbalances, I should say, that very often we're unaware of, okay, or that you're unaware of, um, unless you get tested. Now, there are many other hormones that can also affect the BMR, okay? These hormones include things like insulin, which is part of uh, what regulates your body's blood sugar. There are, there are hormones called catecholamines. There is uh, your female hormones like estrogen and, and progesterone and testosterone. There's leptin. Uh, leptin is a hormone that basically signals the brain um, that the satiety centers are filled and many women become, if you're insulin resistant, you also become leptin resistant. So the mechanism for shutting off the, the desire to continue eating is, is, is somewhat uh, affected. That's called leptin resistance. Uh, we know that growth hormone can affect uh, the, 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 the BMR. We also know that cortisol levels can affect the BMR. And there are many, many other hormones that also play a role in influencing BMR and how your body burns calories. Um, but beyond that, many of these hormones affect and influence not only the thyroid, but in concert work together. And that's the important thing to understand. And so this is also why uh, symptoms from one woman that has, uh, let's say, hypothyroidism vary so greatly from the next woman who also has hypothyroidism, okay? Today we know, again, that these hormones all work in concert. And so it's very important to look at that and appreciate that there is this concert of hormones working together. Now, it's really important uh, for you to, to understand uh, why you have to look at the big picture when it comes to restoring thyroid function. It's not enough to simply think that your weight gain is the sole resort of just this sluggish thyroid. You know, there's reasons why the thyroid became sluggish, and that really needs to be the emphasis. And so my best advice here is work with a doctor who has that mindset, one who's really going to investigate the root cause of your health. And again, look at that big picture. Anything less than that is just treating symptoms. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time.